Hey, it's Allison from Mahalo.com, and today I want to talk to you about classifying quadrilaterals. Now, a quadrilateral is simply a closed four-sided figure. So it looks something like this. It has four sides. And closed means that those four sides connect together, so there's no opening within it. That's basically just what a quadrilateral is, but there's a lot of other figures that are also quadrilaterals, but satisfy other conditions as well. For example, a trapezoid. A trapezoid is a quadrilateral with exactly one pair of parallel sides. So we would have a side here and a side here that are parallel to each other, and then two other sides. That would be a trapezoid. Again, it's a closed four-sided figure, but it has one pair of parallel lines. Now, an isosceles trapezoid also has one pair of parallel lines, but the other two sides then are equal to each other. This side and this side would be the same length. That would make it an isosceles trapezoid. Now, a parallelogram is a specific kind of quadrilateral that has two pairs of parallel sides. So we would have one pair of sides here that are parallel to each other, and one, another pair of sides here and here that are also parallel to each other. That's where it gets the name a parallelogram. It's still a quadrilateral, but it's a special case of a quadrilateral. Now, a rectangle is a parallelogram with four right angles. So it has two pairs of parallel sides and four right angles. So it looks like this. So we have a line here and then another line parallel to it. And then we've got two, one more pair of parallel lines. These two lines here and here are parallel. But all the interior angles are right angles. That makes it a rectangle. It's still a quadrilateral, but it's a quadrilateral with two pairs of parallel lines and four right angles. Now, a square also has two pairs of parallel sides and four right angles, but it has the additional condition that all of the side lengths measure the same. So a square, we would have a parallel line here and a parallel line here, and then another pair of parallel lines to complete the square. All of the interior angles are right angles, like this, and all the sides measure the same length. So a square is a quadrilateral with two pairs of parallel sides, four right angles, and all sides measuring the same length. Now, a rhombus is another quadrilateral that has four sides all the same length, but they don't necessarily meet at right angles. That makes it different from a square. So a rhombus might look something like this. All four sides are the same length, but they don't necessarily meet at right angles, so that would make it a rhombus and not a square. Now, every square is also a rectangle, and every rectangle is also a parallelogram. But it doesn't go the other way. Not all par parallelograms are rectangles, and not all rectangles are squares. They're subcategories. Squares satisfy three conditions. All sides the same length, four right angles, and two pairs of parallel sides. The rectangle only satisfies two of those conditions, four right angles and two pairs of parallel sides. Not all the sides are the same length. And then a parallelogram satisfies one of those conditions, two pairs of parallel sides, but they don't all meet at right angles. All of these figures come under the larger category of a quadrilateral, which is simply a four-sided closed figure. Thanks for learning with me today. If you want more information on any of the topics, click on any of the links below. And if you liked our videos, please subscribe to our channel. It really helps us out. If you have a specific request, send it to requests at mahalo.com, and I'll see you next time.